hi and welcome back to the channel i'm your host glifton 3d and today as promised i'm getting into yet another tweet from gina carano absolutely love her i love everything she's doing going scorched earth against hollywood and this hollywood thing is getting crazy this sag afra agreement with the creators of the hunger games mm, strange strange let's see what gina has to say about that All right, so yesterday after the videos dropped, a few viewers talked about that they love what's going on with Gina Carano, and I absolutely love it as well. I did promise that there was going to be another video today because Gina Carano made yet another post after Rachel Ziegler put out a tweet saying that the sag allows her to promote her movie. Strange, isn't it? Well, let's see what Gina Carano has to say about it. What an odd strike this is. Small non-studio productions are having trouble getting waivers, but studios get the interim agreement left and right. Cele uh, celebrities go from the picket line to their promotional tours and red carpets. What happened to that? I better get paid for every hour I stand in this dress talk. Hmm. There, that's the point where you know she's going directly after Rachel Ziegler. Now, of course, she could have probably gone after so many others because SAG Afra is doing this. But Rachel Ziegler had to make a big deal about it. Meanwhile, the people who are actually suffering are the crews and the actors, not a part of studio prod uh, projects or the in group to get their waivers granted. The one whose money will run out quicker. The ones who are having to pick up a second line of work. The ones who will be controlled a whole lot easier once the strike ends. Based off of the dis uh, dis uh, desperation to work. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited about this, and I'm kind of just stumbling over my own words. Think that was an accident. Maybe they should have granted waivers for all the non-studio productions. Keep people working and halt all studio productions if they really wanted to make a difference and reach a faster agreement. Who is this strike really intended to hurt again? Better make a deal quick, people are starting to notice. I'm sure it'll be in favor of all the right people and all the right people will pat themselves on the back on an excellent deal and months of suffering. Well worth the wait. At least while you're at it, you could throw into the agreement that it will be that it will never again be permitted to allow any production to force inject poison, I mean experimental jabs, into people's bodies in the name of science ever again. And Gina Carano goes hard on this. And I fully agree with her. And you know what? Screw YouTube if you try to make sure that my video isn't being broadcasted to others. I don't care. I love doing these videos. I love doing it for the people who actually get my videos and watch them. That's all I care about. So screw you, YouTube. Screw you, Hollywood. Screw you, freaking leftists. Ah, where was I? Ah, you know, because that in itself wasn't something big enough to have had a huge strike over. The hypocrisy is palatable. The system is rigged and littered with posers. Art is free. Creativity is your rebellion. You don't need permission to do that. Exactly. Now, I will also echo something that Gina Carano said afterwards. This is also not to encourage heaps of hate onto this young lady. I don't want that. Unfortunately for her, she is just really great at shining a light on the hypocrisy that's happening. 
And that's exactly what it is. She goes out, she does her promotion, she talks smack, she thinks that she's so great. She is one of the most... Like, I don't want to say hated people in Hollywood, even worse than Brie Larson. But she keeps on just stepping in it, you know, putting people down, being stupid, really. Now, she's a young girl. I'm sure that she's actually being told to do all of these things because it will help her. But sadly, it's not. People are turned off by her, and that's what it is. So again, as Gina Carano said, and I will say it again, don't go after her for her shit takes. You know, don't don't pile on. Yes, she deserves some of it going after the things that she says, but not going after her. Anyway, that being said, Gina Carano is on fire. I'm I am absolutely astonished about what's going on i never thought i would see the day when people were going out and talking about this doing these things and gina carano i believe getting fired from disney was possibly one of the best things that could have happened to her and to pop culture now i don't think it's a good thing i don't think it should have happened and it was horrible but gina carano went from a based as f actress to a pop culture warrior hero. And that's the truth of it. She's out there. She's fighting against this woke ideology. She's fighting against Hollywood. She is, is the epicenter of a movement. Join the rebellion. She's awesome. And she's doing great work going after these things. She could have said the line that Obi-Wan said to Anakin Skywalker, to Darth Vader. Strike me down and I will become more powerful than you can ever imagine. And that is what happened to Disney and Gina Carano. Anyway, I'm enjoying this. I can't wait for more Gina Carano news. I can't wait for for more Disney news to come out. I'm looking forward to these emails and notes that are rumored to happen. However, again, they did come from Drunk 3PO and he has a sixth sense about this. He has someone on the inside who knows about what is happening. So I believe it. I, I, I think a lot of people do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below your thoughts on Gina Carano on this whole situation on Hollywood imploding right now. And if you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications. It helps out the channel and it lets YouTube know that you are actually interested in knowing when my content releases. All right, until next time, take care.